Hello and welcome everybody. Today we have another Godot tutorial. I was asked a lot about uh, how to use in GUT and how to use unit testing in general. So first of all I want to tell you a bit about why testing. First off let us start with why you should consider testing your software. First off I thought we just go over a document I found in through the internet and I just tell you why <laughs> testing is interesting at all or why you should test your software. But I don't want to pick up on this boring topics like customers reliability, satisfaction and stuff like that or quality of the project. Of course everything is a valid point and also affects you if you're using test. But I wanted to use another approach and let us go through my own list why I'm using test and why I think especially in game development testing is interesting or it helps to make you better software. So my first point why I'm using test is to hunt down bugs. You all know it, you program your game, you play a little bit and you find some bugs. Yeah, you found a bug and you just try to figure out why this bug happening. In the usual case you do it by just playing the game and just testing out what you have to do until you have the same bug or the same behavior of the game is happening again. Um, in this case, if I found a bug and I know how I can reproduce it, I usually start off to first write a test and, and I try to prove that the bug is really existing even on the code side. With writing a test first, I can really prove that my function is misbehaving. So the outcome is different than what I expected. So in this case, I really like to use tests because you can just prove your bugs, fix them and you know that this one is fixed afterwards. So my second tip when to use tests is when you have really, really complex functions. I remember when my first game Timber Tales were programmed, I had uh, created a pathfinding for all my units through the hexagon fields where they should move, where they shouldn't move, there are some trees in the way, there are some rocks and you always had to calculate the right path for it. I then start to encounter some weird bugs that there are paths where the units shouldn't move or they actually can't even reach. What are my options in this case? I could restart the game and try to reproduce the exact same amount of units, the exact same positions of the units and just starting over and over again and testing out, changing some, some things in the codes and just restart the game and check it out again if the bug is still there. This becomes very complicated the more complex your bugs and functions are and especially in this pathfinding thing I had really really problems to reproduce every situation where a bug was found. So in this situation it helps me a lot to work with tests because in tests you have the possibility to set the units where you want to. You can define all the positions and you can define your game start at the beginning of the test instead of playing the game through the half of it just to check out if a bug is gone or not. So in very complex functions where you don't want to test it by yourself, tests help you a lot. And I think that's the, the most reasonable thing to think about to test at least all your functions which are quite hard or difficult. And also you should at least consider to test everything of your code which is quite complex to ensure that these functions are really, really safe and working as you expect them. Because it's very, very hard to check in game if everything is working correctly. Even if there are something in the background you can't even test with uh, by playing the game, just uh, expecting a result and if you don't get the result, you should use tests in. With testing complex functions, I also mean that uh, you shouldn't at all testing super easy functions. So if you have just setter in your codes where are functions uh, where you set a variable to point A or to, to point B, uh, you shouldn't test them at all. So testing is about to, to get your expected result and it shouldn't be an overhead for you. It should make fun and you should have fun on writing those tests. Tests should give you an, an added value to your code and also to your programming skills. You don't want to just check set color to A and afterwards checking if the variable is B. So uh, this makes no sense at all. So I think functions should at least have some kind of complexity to be testable. 
Tip number three, tests improve your code. When you start using tests, you will notice that you write code in a different way because all your functions need to be testable and you don't want one big function which is doing a lot of different stuff. Instead, you want to have multiple functions which are just for one thing. And then you are able to test out the expected results with one function. This improves your code a lot because you write more clean code and more clearer code to understand. And in this case, tests can help you a lot to write better functions. And the tip number four why I using tests for my code is refactoring. If you have tests for code you already have written and it's long time ago and you don't even know how the function worked at all and you change things, you try, you start refactoring, you think about the code and think okay you can move that there and uh, yeah you can improve it here. If you have a test coverage for this function you can just refactoring all of your code and afterwards you can just execute the test and see if everything is working as it was before. If you haven't any tests written for your code at all, then you're just doing refactoring on blind and afterwards you have to test your whole game if the results or the behavior is the same as before. In this case, tests are absolutely God and it helps you a lot on refactoring your code and make better code at all.